Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video on the 335i and a couple other cars. We're just working on everything today. I'm gonna to be throwing in a little bit of what we've been doing the past couple of days. Like you know, we're robbing, we're robbing, yeah. We've been watching the game. We've been uh, the car we went to yesterday. We did all kinds of little weird things the past couple of days. I feel like I'm gonna throw in there since I got the footage, anyways. But right now, you guys, I've been seeing the comments already. I, I don't worry, I actually read the comments. Um, I know it wasn't the smartest thing to do a tune before actually fixing the leak. But uh, as you guys know me, I'm stupid and I'm crazy. So I gotta do it anyways. Um, the tune was really enjoyable, but yep, we gotta get the maintenance done. Um, so Erlan came over, he's gonna be uh, helping me again. Because you know, he just tends to help me. Good guy. Uh, so he's got the fuel injectors out right there. I don't even know, what are those called? So those are the fuel rods, but you guys can see it's right there. Um, that's stuff that we don't have on the N52. So um, it's a little bit new, a little bit new to me. Um, I don't, he's, this is your first time, second time doing this one? Probably first time, yeah. We usually, because we deal with N52s. This is N54. You guys know me, um, I had a lot of problems with my brother's car, so I don't really want to deal with it, especially this one, I'm gonna be pushing some power on it. So I don't want to, I just want to have a peace of mind that at least the seals are good, and then uh, you know I can throw on some more tunes or modifications you know, with a peace of mind. Without further ado, um, we're gonna be showing you guys a little bit of the valve cover job being done. Um, and then also, we have Erlon's brother's car right here. Uh, we're gonna be installing the M Sport steering wheel. We're gonna be doing, you know, a conversion. Um, and then of course, we gotta clear the coats, make sure all those airbags go away. But um, yeah guys, so as you guys can see right here, he's actually doing the brown conversion. Uh, I mean, the black conversion, brown conversion. His original interior was gray. If I open up the door, oh, the doors are locked right now. But anyways, you got the gray dash. That was the original um, color. It's great carpets. We got the new carpets, we got the new dash. We haven't installed it yet. Um, we already installed the, the rear carpets, all the door panels, the seats, everything. He installed all that himself. He's doing his own conversions. If you guys wanna check out their progress, check out the link down below. I'm gonna have their channel link down below. If you guys wanna check out you know, their build, their progress, they have two cars they're working on. But anyways, we're gonna be installing the steering wheel on this bad boy. But you guys know, we gotta focus on the priority and uh, fix this valve cover. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a cinematic for y'all, hopefully, if I, if I know what I'm doing, you know? So Erlan just uh, put his hand down there out from the back, and I told you guys most of the oil is coming from the back. You guys were telling me it was most likely the turbos, you know, having some serious issue. But um, he's feeling that from the back of the valve cover. He's seeing, he's already feeling a lot of oil from the back of the valve cover, and that's new oil. So I mean, if you guys, if that doesn't look like oil, that's that's because it's new oil. Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot of oil, right? Yeah, that's gonna just drop it onto your cats and your turbos, and that's causing it to smoke. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna end up uh, topping it off with some more oil. I'll check the oil level, you know, through the computers. It's all garbage. I might honestly just do a whole new oil change. Better safe than sorry, but yeah. So we're we're pretty much sure that the valve cover needs to be replaced regardless, and hopefully you should stop smoking because you guys know I gotta get this thing through smog. Um, but yeah. Get started, focus. But these uh, spark plug holes have holes, have oil in them, so that means this valve cover has definitely gone bad. Just uh, judging off these, I mean, you saw the oil in the back, that means it's leaking. Um, you see the oil and the spark plug holes, that means again, it's leaking. I don't know if you noticed a misfire, but that means uh, usually we have oil, run the risk of a misfire, so we'll see whether it's misfiring or not. Hi, right, guys, so look what we just find out. So, it turns out that the ignition coils are uh, a pretty oily, so um. It looks like the, the valve cover, even through the middle, is really messed up. This uh, this ignition coil has just so much oil in it, and it looks like it was never even sitting on right, or maybe it was just at an angle or something. Um, I'm going to clean this off and hopefully it's good, but I'll probably order some new ones in the near future. Alright guys, so Erlan just headed out. He was actually going to help me uh, do the valve cover, but we did notice that there was some oil where the uh, the spark plugs are, so he wants to vacuum that out to make sure none of it gets in the pistons. So I was like, you know what, that's fine. 
um, we'll wait till tomorrow, but he did the best that he could do. I went ahead and took off all the bolts, or loosened all the bolts on the valve cover, took out a hose, and at least I got it, you know, where it's, it's pretty much in a situation where tomorrow he just gets here, takes off the valve cover, replaces the gasket, put it back on, and I throw everything else on. I just wanna make sure it seals properly, make sure that everything is done properly um, while he's here with his supervision, because he's actually had many experiences. He's had people come up to him and pay him to do it. So he knows a lot more than me. I've done it one other time and had a very bad experience, so I'm not gonna do it ever again, probably after this one. If I'm at 3.30, I need to do it, I'll do it, because you know, it's my cars, but I'll never do it for anyone else, because that is a scary job for me. I personally don't like it. But anyways, guys, um, that's pretty much the end of this. I but anyways, guys. Hey, Joe, when are you gonna start your uh, this track? On who? On the. Uh, on you? On me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, I'm waiting. Uh, I got a few other parts upstairs uh, to pretty much, you know, it's just a couple things to make the car look nicer. That's not the priority. Obviously, getting this valve cover first. So we're gonna try to do the valve cover after that. We're doing a couple detailing pieces to the car. Right here on this table is full of every single grill, part, side marker, fog light, all types of grills for the M Sport bumper right here. And I don't know if I showed you guys from the last video, um, but that's the M Sport LCI bumper. And if I bring you guys out right now, I went ahead and uh, bit the bullet and I bought the LCI hood itself. So, so I'm actually doing the full LCI front end conversion. I'm not putting it on because there is a, a VIN number on there. Uh, the rear end, I'll be doing an LCI conversion with the CSL trunk in the future. Of course, I'm probably, I have some pretty big plans for this car. Biggest fear right now is if it's gonna pass smog or not. Hoping it's gonna pass smog, but I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop talking. I come back to you guys tomorrow when we're actually gonna finish up this valve cover. Guys, welcome back to day two on working on the 335. So um, I had to give it a little bit of a break, as you guys know. I had to take a little bit of a break um, since the last time I actually cracked this case open. Not really me. Or long cracked this case open. I'm just pretending like I know how to do things. TJ Hunt. Anyways, we all know Calvin does the work. We all know it. We all know it. It's, it's all good. It's all good. I mean, I have people that help me help me do my work because, to be honest. Quite frankly with you, I, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just waiting on our line. When he gets back, um, he's gonna end up doing it. Um, he told me to pretty much just take off the hoses, the lines that connect to this. I don't really know what this is, but I can disconnect all the lines and I threw it over there and I threw it down here. And um, yeah, and I just pretty much un unbolted all the bolts. Something though, if you guys are doing the head, the, the valve cover, you guys are gonna realize something and you're gonna be like kind of stuck because you're gonna be like, oh, how do I get these three bolts out? You get lucky, your boy Nor, cares about y'all and I'm gonna let you guys know the secret patty formula now there's three studs on this valve cover there's one right here one right here and there's one back there so basically how this works um, as you can see I already have it loosened you have to put a long enough deep socket to fit through this and go all the way down that bolt and untighten it now my normal deep sockets will not do the trick you need to get like some extended extra extended deep socket at least that's what I thought I went on Amazon and I saw one for on $22 and then I read the description and people are saying that the inside of the socket is not wide enough to go around this so it was absolutely pointless waste of $22 and people were talking about like specifically this job so then I saw this other dude go down to Home Depot and get like this medium sized deep socket but has a very very open you know center went ahead tried it for myself fit perfectly when you put it like this, you'll have to put in your tool kind of, you know, it's not going to be 100% snug in there. It's going to be kind of loose, but once you get it in there and break it loose, you can pretty much hand tie it. It's not that big of a deal. But yeah, this is what works. It cost me $3. So if you guys are having issues and you want to get this job done at the same day, go down to Home Depot. They're open, you know, till like probably 10 or 11. And get this, um, get this Husky 10 millimeter, uh, pretty much it's called a deep socket. So just get one of these bad boys. That'll help you with all the rest of the bolts. And that's it. I mean, I got all these bolts loosened. I just don't want to take it up and mess anything. He's going to be doing that. He's going to be installing the new gasket, which is on the car. And that's enough of me talking. I'm going to wait on him. All right, so Calvin is here. He just pulled up. He actually got some new rims. I don't know if you guys can see that. Looking pretty sweet. He's still got to finish up wrapping the rest of the car. But in the meantime, he is here. Always here to help me in my garage because I never make it down to his garage. Hashtag TJ. Anyways, uh, but yeah, so we got all the bolts out. We got everything moved out of the way. We got all the hoses. And we're about to pull the valve cover off for the first time. And it was really hard down here, guys, because it was that's where it was cracked. Look at the bolts, by the way. Actually, no, I gotta go back. Okay, so we're gonna show you how bad this gasket is. And by the way, I just wanna let you guys know that in, oh, there's this thing here too. Yeah, get that out. And then uh, pretty much 
This gasket over here, if you guys check out these screws, let me show you guys the screws real quick. Uh, they are like drenched in oil, especially the ones back here. So that's where most of the smoke is coming from. The ones on this side were, are also drenched in oil. The ones on the, the middle is like all right, besides a few of them. Um, but yeah, the ones on the top obviously are fine because oil doesn't seem to get up there most times in most valve cover jobs. And what you want to show them is this. You see back here, do you see where the black gasket runs along? Come on this angle. You see the black gasket? Yeah, you see the see black how gasket. On this half of the gasket, on the left side, there should be no oil. But you see how there's still oil collecting here? Yeah. That's right here, it's mainly where it's leaking. So it's just leaking and falling along your block down to your uh, headers and your turbos, and that's where you get so much smoke. And this is like really blown, right? Like this is a really bad gasket. All right, guys. Well, that is that. Hundred thousand mile, probably valve cover. I doubt it's ever been changed before. Ooh, did you hear that? Yeah. Here. That just sounds like straight up plastic. How solid this is. Yeah, it's hella it's solid. solid. Damn. <laughs> you shouldn't be able to hear anything. It's rubber. So I mean, like, what the hell? But I mean, yeah. So that's how that looks. I doubt if we even try to like probably bend it, it'd probably crack. That's how bad that one is. This one, as you guys can see, pop. It came in the bag all, you know twisty and stuff because that's how it's supposed to be but uh and don't mind the monsters that's that's not mine <laughs> yeah i gotta hook up a brother <laughs> all right by the way guys i know you guys don't think i'm credible so <laughs> you're gonna be looking at he, he's done many valve covers before I, but this is probably your first time on n54 right yeah first time. but he's done a lot of the n e90 series e92 so i, I mean hear what he's about to say about this engine right here so i mean the good thing about taking this valve cover off is we can see what's under there because uh a lot of times you can't well on these, you can kind of see through the oil cap, but on most engines, like the M52, you can't. So, as you can see, everything here is nice and brown. It has a little bit of buildup here, but for the most part, everything looks pretty clean. Probably did his oil changes on time, the previous owner. And, uh, so, yeah, that's good to hear. That's good to it's hear. It's good because nothing's going to be extra worn. Nothing's going to be clogged. And as soon as we swap this valve cover and do spark plugs, it should be running pretty smooth. That sounds good to me, guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this straw also in this uh, shop vac that he has. Um, he's, we saw apparently oil inside of the spark plugs where the spark plugs are at. So we're gonna suck that out before we switch out the spark plugs and none of that gunk and oil. All right guys, so while we're already in here, you guys told me, make sure you're on top of your maintenance. So. In the meantime, I got some new spark plugs. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in all the new spark plugs, take out all these bad, well, we don't, we don't even know if they're really bad. I might even hold on to them just in case one of these didn't go out prematurely. I'll at least have like a spare one for now. But um, yeah, I mean, we're just gonna go ahead and do that and then put back the gasket and everything and hopefully no more smoking. And you're also putting on a brake cleaner just to like clean it off, right? Yeah, just throw the oil, extra oil out of the creases and then let it dry. Yeah, it's a good thing you use brake cleaner because it evaporates, right? Yeah, water does evaporate really good. Yeah, so that's why I was using that, guys. I mean, I don't know anything. When I went to go buy this from AutoZone, they're telling me I'm using that for your brakes, and I'm like, nope, I'm using it for my valve cover. They looked at me all weird, but I mean, <laughs> we gotta do what you gotta do, you know? So go ahead and install the spark plugs. My tripod's broken, so I'll get back to you guys when I actually have them all installed. Boys, I'm getting excited. We're pretty much bolting on the, the valve cover. Once that is done, we're gonna go ahead and try to arrange all these wires, hook up everything properly, take it out for a little spin, Hopefully no more smoking, hopefully none of that. I will have to get also some sensors because it is under the engine category. I'm hoping I don't get anything, uh, you know, any problems at smog because I don't actually have a service engine light. But yeah, we're gonna take it out for a drive, we'll see how it is. We'll see if this beast is ready. Um, and then after that, you guys already know, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be doing some crazy stuff to the color of this car. I wanna act, the first thing I wanna do honestly is put on the hood, the bumper, wrap the full car, and once we do that, we'll continue on with the mods and stuff, mainly because this car needs to be presentable. We got bullet holes over here. This thing's a different color. The hood I got is a different color. The bumper I got is a different color. You guys already know. I got the whole interior done pretty much. So you know, this car is coming together, guys. Really getting excited. And uh, this guy over here, he's, uh, he's going at it. All right guys, so we pretty much finished putting all this back together. Um, we did mess up on that hose right there. It's supposed to go underneath the strut bar, but who cares, we can always move that later. Uh, my brother, he's gonna go ahead, Erlon, I mean, uh, me and Calvin, he's gonna go ahead and hook it up to the car. We're gonna go ahead and jump the car and then uh, see if, how it starts up and how it sounds and everything, see if there's any smoke. Alright guys, the smoke right now, but that's a little bit normal because we just did a fresh new valve cover. It's just burning off all the excess smoke, I mean all the excess oil. 
So we're gonna give it a few seconds, let this kind of cool down, and then uh, we'll get back to you guys in a few minutes. But yeah, so far I started up, everything seems to be all right. All right guys, so we just went ahead and uh, did the valve cover. We took it outside and it was smoking and it was smoking excessively. It wasn't normal according to him. He went underneath the car and noticed that there was oil actually dripping out from somewhere um, after he sprayed some brake cleaner and all that stuff. He's gonna go ahead, to go ahead and explain to you guys how there's literally no more smoke even though we did the valve cover. Like we did the valve cover and there's still hella smoke but he got rid of it after just using a hose. So I don't understand what he did, but he's gonna explain to you guys in a second here. Because it's like, on any car you have a valve cover leaking, if you leave it for a long amount of time, it'll just collect and run along the engine block and onto your headers, your cats, and this had a Copart for how long? Yeah. Probably forever. So it's just always dripping, 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 and collecting and collecting, so when you switch a valve cover out, you stop the leak, but it's still leaking, if that makes sense. It's still gonna leak all the way down. And he was panicking because it was still smoking a lot. And we just, while the engine wasn't too hot, we rinsed off some of the exhaust pipes, you know, some of the yeah. engine to get it, run that oil down. And we saw a lot of oil come out For from sure. that area. And now, it, since we got rid of some of that oil, it's good, dude. It's not smoking. It's it's a good sign that it was only the valve cover, not his turbos, because his turbos still pull strong. They still spool. And uh, so you guys heard it from him. Don't believe the haters. <laughs> Still spool, so for all you guys telling me my turbos are going bad, just get out of here. Get out of the comments. I don't want to read them. Anyway, so we, he just helped me do the valve cover. It is pulling like a dream. It sounds like a dream. You know, this is the dream. So I'm really happy about how this is. This build's actually going. I'll cut back to you guys when we actually get home. We'll go out. We'll get something to eat. I gotta, you know, we're gonna go out and have just a little, bit, you know, a little bit of a snack since you know everything went according to plan. And then I gotta get ready for school. I'll get back from school. Then I cut the outro. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and clean off all this stuff because you guys are telling me it'll like permanently stay on there or like it's gonna be hard to get off. So I'll get that stuff off when we get back. But as of now, guys, um, it's looking good. It's looking real good. I can see a little bit of smoke, but I'm assuming that's because there's a little bit of oil left somewhere and it's, it's just coming off. So it's burning off. All right, guys, I'll cut back to you guys when I get home from school. All right, guys, so I'm back home um, after after a really unusual um, experience. So I have one class today. It's the first day for this class. And I was a, I went there, you know, at 6 p.m. It's a 6 p.m. to 8:50 p.m. class. So it's about three hours. I know this is kind of random, but I went there, and I got there a little bit late, like three minutes late, 6:03. It's whatever. It's your first day. I didn't really time the the traffic accordingly. But um, anyways, um, I got there, sat down, waited very long. Like I, when I got there, there was no professor, and I waited until 6:30, and there was still no professor. I saw people. I saw people heading out. And I was like, you know what? People are leaving. I might as well dip as well. I was like, it's 6.30, professor's in here. It's been 30 minutes, I'm gonna go. And then a little bit later, um, one of you guys reached out, um, Eddie, shout out to you, my guy. Uh, he, he went ahead and said that you were in my class. And I was like, huh, that's, that's what's up. You know, when you guys are in my class. But he said also, the teacher showed up at 7.05 or 7.06 or something like that. So the teacher ended up showing like, up an hour and like five minutes late. Do you guys do, do you guys think I did the right thing to leave class early? Because I have no idea. Um, I, she hasn't even e emailed me yet or emailed anyone. Um, but I'm pretty sure like the majority of the class has left the class by then. But I don't know if it was my responsibility to have stayed. He ended up staying. But I'm pretty sure the majority of the class ended up like probably 80% like of the class wasn't there. So I don't know if I get any trouble for that. It is the first day, but at the same time, he was not there for an hour or five minutes. Like how, are you gonna, how can you be late for an hour and five minutes? So. It's whatever. But getting back, before I actually conclude this video, guys, someone actually reached out and said that I need to get rid of all that marking and that sticker up there. So I'm gonna go ahead, remove that, remove the adhesive, and just, you know, try to go at it and see how much of that sticky stuff I can get off. And then I'll come back to you guys and uh, tell you the future plans. All right, guys, I kind of felt like I was scrubbing on something that was impossible, but you know, it's possible. It's all cleared up. The windshield is looking good. Obviously, the car is still super dirty. Now I know I owe some shout out to uh, some shout outs to some of you guys. I will be doing that in the next video. I'm so sorry for that. I know I'm sorry, but at least those of you guys who've donated and those of you guys who purchased decals will be mentioned in the next video. Do not worry, I did not forget about you all. But if you guys want to be shout out in the next video, make sure you check out the, the, the decals down below. If you guys are purchasing those decals, it'll donate and support the build. And if I see you guys rocking the decals in the future, I know you guys were the OG subscribers who supported with the build. So anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. Make sure to support the channel down below as well. And I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and the
and put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy She got me saying, y'all love, baby, I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy You know, 